Good evening. A major development in the investigation into the Air India tragedy. Police in British Columbia have arrested and charged two Sikh activists. They won't say... Police statements left no doubt who were the chief suspects, though they were only arrested on minor explosives charges. Tawinder Singh Parmar, then and now a leading police suspect in Air India. Parmar is the Canadian leader of the militant Baba Khalsa group based in Vancouver. And Inderjit Singh Rayat, an electronics engineer. Police had found small amounts of dynamite in his Duncan home, but he denied being the bomb maker. In 1986, however, the much heralded trial in Duncan, B.C. ends in fiasco for the task force. All charges against Parmar had been dropped for lack of evidence. In the Rayat trial, CSIS refused to reveal intelligence sources. Rayat paid only a small fine for possession of some dynamite. The court drew no connection to Air India. Soon afterwards, he left the country. But Parmar remains by far the dominant figure in the Air India aftermath and the most closely watched militant in Canada. To some fundamentalist Sikhs, he's a nationalist hero and a high priest. He lives in this large suburban home in Burnaby, B.C., and is well aware of the unmarked police vans outside. The question has been asked, and I will ask it again. Did you order the bombings of the two airplanes? Such a thought never entered my dreams. Who do you think bombed the airplanes? Who do you suspect was behind the bombings? It's my belief, and that of the most of the Sikh community, except those who have been bribed or bought off, that the Indian government had this done, just to give the Sikhs a bad name. So Sikhs would never be believed again. In India, many Sikhs can't open their mouths anymore. The only voices heard are those of the Sikhs outside India, and they have tried to shut them up too. In 1986, Parmar was again arrested, this time in Hamilton, and held for 10 months on charges of plotting terrorism against India. But this year, he was acquitted.